So right here he is taking out the side of the windowsill and he's gonna do this on both sides of it. And he's gonna replace the board because right at the bottom of the board was some water damage and it was significant enough where we knew that there was probably um, a problem somewhere. So after he actually removed this board, you will see a little bit of water damage and you could actually see the window where it was caulked on it and there was tons of holes on the caulk so i don't know why that would be caused feel free to let me know because i'm a first timer with all this stuff and so he recocked it i believe and then he added some kind of foam stuff i've been so busy i just let him do this part and we plan on doing this in a lot of the windows in our house almost all of them have this water damage um some way worse than others and it's just something little we can do we can't afford to replace the windows or anything like that at the moment which i'm not sure if the windows are really the issue um, but this was just a cool little thing we were able to do in the living room to get things started. So the damage is just on the bottom. We saw parts like this all over the house. Um, and this is where we're starting to pick some carpet. It's starting to get more exciting. It's coming all to fruition at this point. And this was a really fun <laughs> discovery, not. Uh, we found this in our master bedroom and this wall is still not finished actually. And so for what I was told is that perhaps it was some kind of like fiber tape put over a seam at one point. Uh, when we did actually pull this piece off, there is a seam underneath it. So I feel like that makes sense, but it didn't go all the way up to the wall. So that was confusing. This is the living room, fully primed, kills two primer. That thing is a beast. And it really made all the difference because we're trying to block the stains, we're trying to block the odor, just making sure we can make this home as, feel as fresh as possible. And I was really impressed. Right here, he is pressure washing the porch. And that made a huge difference, not only in obviously how it looks, but just how it felt because we were running in and out of the house and we have some kids so we're like you know we don't know where they can go play while we're working sometimes and so actually after he did this the kids are able to play on the porch they're able to do some chalk on the little concrete area so it's the little things you know when you're doing little home renovations and renovations and you're living in the home that is a completely different story so i was really thankful that he took the time to do this this was actually the first week we were at the house These are the colors we ended up going with and we actually added Earth Nut by Bear at one point during this process. And here is the before in the master bedroom. There was thumbtack holes everywhere and my mudding is great not. Um, here's a little piece of strip that we took off and then here is the hardwood flooring we are starting to pick and this one is called Tobacco Road. This is actually what we ended up putting in the entryway and it ended up looking fantastic. I really loved it. Here's our first accent wall, our second one. I know, super creative boy girl, but my daughter did pick her color, I do have to say. I, I thought about going with like a green of some sort, but I'm just not a fan of green and I did try one. And then here is the den. We are fully primed and this is the first room that I did start to finish and I think it probably
can imagine another day without you. It just won't do. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Anyone who's ever done YouTube or trying to gain momentum knows that if you can just make it through the video and get to this point, we are so thankful as creators. With that said, there's a couple things I didn't mention. So we actually primered the floor uh, with the Kills 2. We actually treated it also with like a pet um, treatment, like urine treatment, and that really helped. And then we scraped it, like all the extra residue off, because it was all like caked on dirt. I'm not sure how old the carpet was. Um, it was obviously years old. And the home's been here for about 20 years. And then, um, let's see here. My daughter's room is almost 100% done. There's paint on all the walls, but everything needs a second coat. And then I also uh, ended up having to take off a baseboard that like I caulked. So that took off some of the paint on one corner of the accent wall. <laughs> Um, and so we are gonna have to redo that and then um, I'm not really sure where this channel's headed it, it could go in any direction it could I don't know right now it's DIY I guess um, but we have this we have a lot of stuff to show a lot of stuff to do um, I've got this awesome kitchen <laughs> that we need to update but one thing that's cool about our manufactured mobile home is that um, it came it all had drywall so some mobile homes actually a lot of them don't have drywall they also don't have window sills um, there's a lot of things so ours was more like I think ours was built during the time where they were just starting to um, make them more like a home uh, they didn't used to be like this and so a lot of mobile home makeovers I see they have like more like that trailer ours is technically a vehicle it has a VIN <laughs> but it's on a permanent foundation and I think it was like converted to real estate shortly after it was placed here uh, I think 17 or 18 years ago so we actually have oak cabinets um, and then that is an, another thing about mobile homes. A lot of the cabinetry will be like this particle board. And so we're super thankful. Uh, I don't think it's 100% like oak throughout. I think there might be some particle board, but it, we have a great, like this home had so much potential and that was why we took it. We were like, you know what? And it, we loved the area we're in. We have this beautiful view. It's, you know, we're just so beyond thankful for the opportunity to do something like this. Uh, we, me and my husband have been together many years and we've worked really hard and actually we used to always say we were nomads. We have lived all over the United States. Uh, he used to travel for a living. So when our daughter was really little, before she hit kindergarten, we used to travel with him a lot. And I used to love that. I love that I did that my, all my whole twenties, like a full decade, we did not stop. We were just go, go, go. And luckily we had the opportunity of taking our daughter with us on the ride. And now we finally have decided to try to plant somewhere. And so we'd like to share this journey with you guys. And if you could just like it, share this video. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers. And once we hit there, that's like the first little milestone with YouTube. And then we'll see where it goes, you know? Um, but thank you. And if you guys ever have any questions or any comments, please leave them below. We'd love to hear back. Um, all of this stuff that I'm doing is like first time. I've never caulked anything. I've never painted anything since I was like, I think I was like 11. You know, my stepdad let me paint my room a, a sky blue and we did clouds on it. It was actually pretty cool. And he taught us how to do that. But that was literally, I think, the last time. <laughs> So a lot of this is just first time and it's crazy. Like I had no idea. I have a full respect. I've always had a respect for tradesmen. My husband's a tradesman. But just more and more when you do this sort of stuff, you really like have that. I feel like you get 
more of that respect and kind of a little bit of that first person uh, understanding just a little bit uh, of what all goes into this. I mean, you know, it's amazing what a lot of these tradesmen do and get these awesome structures built and they do it really well too. So I can't wait to show you guys more and thank you.